Hey guys, what's up? Kevin McKeon for yet another video, bringing you yet another uh, tutorial slash, um, you know, just whatever thing. I uh, really don't have any other word for it. Today I'm going to be showing you, uh, well, I found sort of the best uh, pinnacle, although I, today watching videos I learned that some people, some people pronounce it uh, pinnacle. But I'm gonna go for pinnacle because it sounds cooler. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be showing. I'm going to show you the best quality settings that you want to have if you potentially record your your own gameplay. First, I'm going to show you how it's going to look if you uh, if you have it by default. It's going to be four by three, and it's going to come in the PAL uh, format, which I showed in the past video. But uh first thing what you want to do actually uh, first thing would be to change your Wii settings your Wii screen settings ratio from 4 by 3 to 16 by 9 that can be accessed in the Wii option thing and it's really simple only takes like like a minute or so but the important things come uh, in the video editor part so uh, as you can see, the, the most important part here is to have it first of all 16 by 9, which in the YouTube video is going to look a hell of a lot better. And as you can see, the default settings in here are well, I don't really know how to say those words and uh, you know properly in English, but uh, as you can see, this will be like uh, under the middle like section. You don't want that. What this is is that uh, you know will sort of define the borders of, of an object more clear if you have it all the way up. Right now, I don't know if you can't really you know, if you can really notice it, but uh, it really makes a difference. And to make the color bright, what you want to change is uh, this this bar right here. You want to change it to around 95 percent, I would say. I don't know if it, if you can see. Yeah, you can sort of see the difference. I mean, if you go all the way down here, it's going to be sort of black and white. Do it here, and it will look like normal. But if you do it like this, it will look it will look exactly like your screen, which is something really, really awesome to, to, to take in mind. And I believe that is pretty much it for these settings. Have this over here, and have the middle bar all the way up, so it's, you know, more defined and... And shit. I mean, if I'm I'm going to be rendering the video examples right now, but um, I don't know if you can really really tell that um, uh, as you can see, the words are really really good looking in here. But if you switch it up, if the middle bar is is down, you can see how it blurs a little. No, you can't really see it, but um, uh, that's that's uh, something you want to take in mind. Take note of these uh, of these settings right here. So, uh, the borders of the objects are more defined, and there's more color, not necessarily brightness, but there's more color into your video. Have it around here. And over here you have the uh, these settings. Do not choose the MPEG, or however, it's, uh, however you say it. Just have it on the default DV in a conic compression, whatever. Just, uh, just don't touch this. Put it on DV and you'll be good to go so I'm going to be recording a few examples uh, with the default settings that come with the with the editor Ed, editor I, I really have a problem with those words editor well I'm going to have a uh, a test with the um, regular uh, settings and I'm going to do a yet another test which you can see in an annotation or a video or in the video description that I just posted on my on my main channel that uh, it looks really really good I'm gonna have those settings as my final preference settings for every single Paper Mario episode so uh, I'm going to be recording and rendering uh, a few a few examples like I just said and well this is it for the video on camera sorry I didn't record uh, I really don't have any uh, high quality uh, screen um, computer screen recorder and you know it's I, I think it is a lot easier with a uh, with just a regular camera so I'll I'll render well I will uh, edit these 
uh, example clips and I will see you guys in a second. So by comparison, this first video is the one we rendered with the default settings and now I'm going to show you the one we rendered with our settings. Okay, so the second video showcases the enhanced settings that I showed you just now. As you can see, the objects look a lot more clear and the text looks, uh, you know, better. And I'm just going to show you one more thing. One last really, really quick thing that I want to show you. When you go ahead and render your video on step 3, this is what you want to have for your settings. The default one, I think it's going to be, uh, to be AVI. You don't want that. You want to have the Windows Media. And down here in the um, pre-adjustments or something, uh, whatever, just go ahead and select, I mean this is in Spanish, but go ahead and select the high quality NTSC. And with that, you're going to have your video full screen on YouTube. You're not going to need the the trick where you do the uh, YouTube crop uh, double points. Uh, 16 by 9 to to uh, eliminate the black bars on your video uh, with these settings it's going to be full screen uh, whenever you you upload it to YouTube the uh, the video that I show in the description the the uh, final test video does not have the YouTube crop thing and in my opinion it looks really really good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful uh, you know, just give it a like, and the first Paper Mario episode coming soon today. So you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace.